Hello everybody, John back with new anomalies. I discovered these at a new site in Ulysses Rupes. This is in a region of Mars called Terra Chimeria, in the southern mid-latitudes of Mars. Let's have a look at the source and we'll scroll through the anomalies. The high-rise camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter took this photograph that is called Dunes with recent spiders acquired on the 6th of July 2024 at a resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel I'll be showing you images are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file and there's a brief look at a crop from the low resolution black and white photograph you can see the dunes and what NASA refers to as spiders. You can barely make them out. But the anomalies we'll be looking at are located over here to the top of this photograph. And there's some of these larger white objects that you can see in this low res photograph. So for some context, the greater Terra is outlined over there and the site we're looking at is located in this very busy region of Mars that's at about 64 degrees 45 minutes south 155 degrees 22 minutes east towards the end of the video we'll have a look at some of the other anomalies that are spotted at these sites close to the target site for reference, I'm including a scale indicator to help us measure the size of the objects that we're looking at. So the object highlighted there in the center of this image is about 8 to 10 meters across. Check out the close-up. Nice straight edges and perfect right angles very smooth bright material as well there's lots of these in this photograph let's have a look at that one highlighted there i'd say that's about six to seven meters across again neat straight edges and right angles similar type of surface feature as the first one we checked out then the block highlighted there it's about 8 by 8 meters in size again the straight edges and right angles but here we've got the strange rip or tear in this material it looks almost metallic in nature could that be metallic folks looks like this piece is slightly higher than that part there that seems to be pushed down right let's have a look at that rectangular part I'd say it's about 10 meters in length and again the straight edges and right angles very smooth flat material as well and then there's a really small block over there it's about four meters to five meters in length right angles straight edges very smooth 
bright surfaces to that part as well. Neat smaller part to the right. Let's have a look at the block highlighted there. That I'd say is about 6 meters across. This one's got more of an oval type of shape to it. And then this part on the end seems to be slightly carved or caved in. Almost as if this is a type of material sticking out of an opening in that piece. Right, another block highlighted here, yeah, folks. It's about five meters across. Straight edges, right angles, and then this square hollowed out part on the one side. Right, this is a huge piece that we're highlighting here. Yeah? It's about 5, 10, 12 meters in length. Check. It looks almost like sheet metal. I wonder if some of these parts aren't some type of wreckage. This piece is very weird. Straight edges, right angles to it. Very reflective as well. There's another huge part highlighted there. It's about 12 meters in length. And it's also got this sheet metal type of appearance to it. And the dome highlighted here is about 6 meters in diameter. It's got a neat sort of rectangular hollowed out area on the top. And this part protruding off to the right. It's quite symmetrical in shape as well. Right, then there's another circular part highlighted here, folks. That is about 6 meters in diameter. Check that out. I don't know what to make of this piece, folks. Again, this looks like parts of some type of wreckage or technology, machinery. Who knows, folks. Let's have a look at this site in Google Earth Mars to give you a better context of what's there and at sites close by. Okay, heading down to Terra Chimeria and this piece of land called Ulysses Rupes. There's the site we analyzed and at the time of this video, the high-rise photograph that we analyzed hadn't been loaded to Google Earth Mars yet. So let's have a look at the thumbnails that are pinned to that site just briefly again. Let's check out the similarities in these rectangular parts. Right, and then a little more to the east, check out what I discovered at this site. More mechanical or technologically shaped objects. I don't know what those might be. Here we've got a rectangular opening, sort of like a bracing part there. Check out the hole, something inside it, and then these smaller parts surrounding that hole. Could they have covered 
that hole in the past. Check it, that cube, small part in its center. And I've shown you another one of these in my most recent video as well. There's that hole again in black and white. Look at these parts. This looks like wreckage. It's got a sheet metal type of appearance. Very creative piece there. That's very odd. This looks almost like a hovercraft from Star Wars. Very weird. Looks like a block that was partially cut by a huge circular saw. Alright, let's see what else is around. Yeah. Oh yeah, a weird dome-like part, it's about 10 meters across and it's got like a skirt, a skirting around it. Strange opening on the one side. Just move this across a bit. Odds and ends in Ulysses Rupes. Another megalithic block, the smaller object right there in its center. Huge block here, yeah, folks. It's got a rectangular carved out area on the one side. Lots of smaller fragments and smaller blocks there. This first item seems to have like a rectangular carved out area on it as well. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of these new anomalies that I discovered in Ulysses Rupes. Let's have a chat in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think of these. As always, thanks for watching.